everyone, this is Bleona Max here, and um, don't judge me for playing Princess Simulator, okay? First of all, it's a pretty cool game. I've gotten to play just a little bit so far. And second of all, Roblox told me to play this game. I only look at my recommendeds every day, so, you know, cut me some slack. I looked at um, my recommendeds today, and aside from all the horror games, that haven't been updated in the last week or so. There was one that stuck out to me in particular. Now, most of my recommendations are horror games, but this is not. I was recommended out of the blue Princess Tycoon. So, um, obviously Roblox has set up a challenge for me. They want me to play this game because they think I won't do it. They think, oh, this guy plays hardcore horror games. Well, he's not going to play Princess Simulator. Well, you're wrong. I am going to play this game, and I'm going to beat it, and I'm going to be awesome at it. I'm going to be the prettiest, most awesome princess you'll ever see in this tycoon. It's going to be the best. So this is going to be my most popular video. Watch it be. So, all right, Roblox, you want me to play this game? I'll play this game. And I'll show you exactly how to play this game. Professional editing skills will make it a lot more interesting than it actually looks like right now. But don't worry. I, I've i got this. So, you know. Princess Simulator. Not even Simulator, it's a Tycoon. Princess Tycoon, watch out. Because Bleona Max is not about to... Not about to turn this challenge down. So, um, I'm assuming... Completing the Tycoon is challenge one. Um, I guess experimenting with at least two different um, Tycoon types would be another. And um, I guess defending myself, because in this game there are weapons as well, so... You know, princesses are a lot more violent than you would imagine. So, I've got to be careful with this, because I'm probably going to get... Um, completely bombarded by a bunch of murderous princesses with malintent. I can already see that they're sprinting around the map already. I can already see the viciousness. Yeah, I was already killed. Right there. Right there. Look at that. Stabbed me right in the back. So, alright. If that's how you want to play, well, let's get my uh, Princess Typhoon on. Alright, so let's scout out this area. Let's see exactly where our enemies are located. Let's see what these princesses are really up to. I'm very curious to see what they're plotting, because I know, I know because I don't have a huge tycoon yet, that I'm almost immediately dead. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, oh my god, that reaches so far! That's actually smart, though. Alright, well, now I know which weapon I want. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get my security up, and I gotta get more gems, so we gotta make sure they can't come in here. And I also gotta get more. I actually get to. I need to get at least one weapon. There's no way I'm gonna dodge. Yeah, no. That's, uh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to dodge them that well because, first of all, they have speed boost, so they're a lot faster than me. And second of all, they have long ranged swords, and for some reason, you know, they have a bunch of weapons that I do not have. So. Whew. Man, okay. I'm gonna become the strongest princess in this game. I'm gonna need an arsenal of weapons. Uh, unicorn blade? Alright, fine. We'll take it. It has some value to it. And at least I'm able to defend myself now. Which is good. Because that's exactly what I'm gonna be able to need if I'm gonna fight. It's not the best weapon per se. It's not the one-shot kill slicer weapon that's like, hangs out five feet in front of them. But it's something. And... It looks like the unicorn is barfing if you zoom into the sword, so barfing rainbows. Alright, so I'm gonna have to practice with this weapon. It unseats a little slow, which is not too good, but um, I'm not sure how much damage it does, so we're gonna have to test that out to see how much. Um, Alright, yeah, they keep jump they're they're able to jump and speed run. So, yes, I got her. I think I hit her once. I was able to hit her, so I'm not sure how much damage that did. It didn't, it didn't kill her, so... Uh, I'm assuming uh, it did half uh, did half health damage to her. Or, yep, it did half health damage. 
The problem is, she can just jump and get back into her, her safe house, so I, I can't exactly get her yet. See, I don't have the strength of the princess power that they do, and I have to get that strong, so... That, or I just have to get more experience with my weapon. The problem is, they're incredibly fast, so even if I do attack them, their defensive capabilities are incredibly strong. They can just jump over houses and walls and stuff, so my defenses are pretty useless until I get a second floor. Um, and my weapons are pretty useless until I can get something maybe a little more long range, because if I can get something long range, then it won't matter if they can jump and run. I should be pretty accurate enough in terms of fighting to know how to use it. So, Alright, time to innocently get my okay. Yep, that's exactly what I was talking about, right there. That's her, right there. She's gonna keep trying to kill me? Alright, fine. You wanna play that kid? You wanna go defensive, or offensive, and I'll go defensive. I didn't buy a security gate for no reason. If I can just get over there... Okay, damn. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. If she comes back, I know exactly what my strat's gonna be. I'm gonna move and weave in inside and outside of my security door and because her jump isn't as slow as her running speed I can just you know, weave in and out of the security door she'll keep jumping through and maybe I can land a few hits through the side of the wall because the unicorn can hit just a little bit uh, through the wall not much but uh, enough so that if she tries to come over I can uh, catch her by surprise because she might be fast with her powers but I don't think she's fast in her reaction time. I sincerely doubt the people who play this game are, you know, very capable. So, in understanding of that, I am going to assume that they're not going to be able to be that good. So what I have to do is, I have to use that strategy next time I come, and that should work, and if it doesn't, then, you know, now she's trying to steal my cash. Actually, this is a different princess. So, come on over. Okay, she's jumping on. Okay. I need to help my fellow princesses that don't have this type of overpowered power. Did you say overpowers? Over, overpowered? Something like that. I, I don't know how to say it. I, my mind's blanking a little bit right now, but that's okay. Um, let's do this. I was able to now get my hands on these attack crows, which I assume do nothing, but because, you know, I have to be optimistic with this game, because I am trying to beat it. Yeah, no, it does nothing. It's completely useless. I, I don't even know why this was put in the game. I mean, look at this thing. It, you can't even see it shoot. Its reload time is infinite, and, um still don't know what it does. I'm assuming it shoots out a bird that flies around your head and swoops down in for attacks, but I don't see a bird because it's not shooting anything, so this is uh, not a useful weapon. I'm probably going to die with this. And I did die with this, but okay, here, here they are. All right, strategy time. Come on, come on. Ah, come on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I will be the strongest princess. You cannot stop me once I have this plan set in motion. I have it all laid out. I have my whole weapon system here, and it's taking me way too long to complete this tycoon, by the way. Oh boy, okay. And I still gotta experiment with another one, too. Alright, here they come. This is it. This is what we've been preparing for. Unicorn bar sword, don't fail me now. Come on, come on in. Alright, just gotta wait for the perfect timing, just a few more times, and she should be... Just gotta fake her out. Come on. Nice, nice! Nice! Nice, we got it. She was confused, and then she became too slow, so... Okay, so after mastering Princess Moon, I decided I would go the opposite and master Princess Sunshine. Um, 
Princess Sunshine was actually a lot easier to get, and her weapons are a lot more strong. So, mostly because they're all long range, um, besides her very overpowered long sword. Um, I'm just learning how to use the bow now. Uh, it's weird, you have to click and hold in certain positions. It's uh, It took me like a minute to actually figure out how to do it. But uh, I was able to get a few princesses like this. It was, it was actually quite satisfying to attack. Um, this only took me about 10 minutes. I don't know why uh, Princess Moon took me so long. But this one was actually pretty, pretty not too hard. So, um, man. Okay, so I allowed a bunch of other princesses who were being you know, attacked and harassed by the overpowered princesses, and I came back into the game, the same server, and I was able to grind this really quick, and then I was able to allow them to get the weapons that I had collected as well. So, me and them were able to fight off um, the overpowered jumping speed running princesses, um, and I was able to collect a lot more weapons than I did the last round. And I was able to beat with Sunshine uh, Princess, who's probably the strongest one in the game. Um, besides the other purplish violet one that I don't know the name of, because I didn't uh, look at all the names. Nunchuck's uh, thrown a little weird, though. I don't think that's how you use a, a nunchuck. I mean, that's probably how you, like... That's how you hit, but like it's more of like a whip. It's not like a little little arm thrust like they did there. Ninja stars were very satisfying. The problem was you couldn't really spam them, otherwise they'd launch themselves at the ground. Uh, they're also very good for decorating for a few seconds. So that's mostly what I did for fun on other people's tycoons. Basically, basically Christmas tree their uh, tycoons. And this is the sword, the only melee weapon that she actually has. Um, but it is strong. Uh, her sword isn't as strong as everyone else's swords, uh, but her long range do tons of damage. I mean, you could take out if you're if you're good enough, you could take out someone two shots with a bow and arrow, uh, with a bow and arrow, which is good. So. Just gonna decorate this tycoon for a little second. Very satisfying, uh, quick little uh, cheap animation, but uh, I like the throwing style. It's very fun and satisfying. Okay, and that's for attacking me as Princess Moon. Thank you very much. I think I have successfully dominated the server. I was able to create alliances. I helped out the entire community that didn't have weaponry and I gave that to them. I was also able to completely uh, max out Blue Moon and Yellow Sunshine, and I was able to dominate with weaponry and uh, skill as uh, Sunshine Princess, but not, not Blue Moon Princess. She was okay, but I, I wasn't able to uh, wasn't able to be as powerful. As you saw, I had to basically make an entire strategy plan just to attack one person. So, and that was a defense too. So, but overall, I think uh, I think Roblox was wrong to uh, to doubt me. This challenge was a little too easy. I'm hoping next time when they put something random in my recommendeds, it's a little more challenging than this. Uh, you know, once I play the mimic. You can't really give me games like this, so. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I was also able to dress up like a lot of the princesses, which was, I don't want to say fun, because uh, it wasn't really that exciting. All I had to do was step on a pressure plate, but, um, you know, wasn't too bad. Didn't like, didn't not like the model designs. Um... But it was a fun experience, I think. I think I did really well with the challenge, and, um, yeah. Yeah, and I think the next few minutes of this gameplay is just going to be me attacking people um, that attacked me prior in the uh, last server as uh, Princess Moon. So we'll be going after those people, 
and then I think that'll be it. I think I'll have successfully completed this challenge to its fullest capacity, and I will never be looking at Princess Tycoon ever again. But I would support the creators, um, I guess. I mean, this is a pretty generic tycoon, other than, you know, the title and some of the other minor details that were changed. It wasn't too bad, but, you know, if you want to dominate as a princess like I did, Go right ahead, I'll leave the link in the description, not really hard to find, you could actually probably search it up on Roblox as Princess Tycoon and you automatically find it with 72 likes and 100 people playing, but um, you know, I didn't mind this experience, it was a good distraction too. Sometimes, you know, I like distractions from horror games, you know, even if it's just something random like this. Eh. You know, I obviously know this isn't a challenge from Roblox, but, uh, sort of wish it was. I mean, if this, uh, if this doesn't prove that I'm RB Battles ready for Season 3, I don't know what does, so... RB Battles, please invite me. I mean, look at this. You can't get much better skill than this. This is just, this is just pure skill. I mean, look at this. No one just maxes out Sunshine Princess on their off day when they're when, like after school all right this is pure skill this is you know this is dedication right here so uh yeah if you're thinking of someone uh, you know to go against uh creek craft or you know, all the other guys tanker whatever i wouldn't be opposed to that i'll just be sitting right here waiting for my invitation and uh yeah so let's see what other people have to say about uh, me being the prettiest princess here anyway. Uh, I should probably figure that out anyway. Since everything else I beat, I should probably uh, see if I can win in terms of beauty as well. Because it is Princess Simulator. It's not, uh, yes. Okay, so I got, I got good thumbs up. I'm assuming that's because of my looks and not because of my arsenal. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, and because she uh, complimented me and gave me a 10 out of 10 rating, I'll allow her to get uh, choose from my uh, weaponry stash. So, okay. So if you hold down too with the uh, bow and arrow, you can actually get a sparkle charge effect. I'm assuming that does more damage, uh, but I, I don't know. Yeah, it does more damage. Uh, well, the the more you click, it does less. Um, but yeah. My accuracy was pretty good with it. Uh, the ninja stars are still hard because you can't really spam with them. Because e e someone will have a sword, so they'll come close to you even if you try to use like minimal throwing range and you start spamming. You'll still be killed by a sword faster than you'll be able to shriek in them to death. Um, so that's not uh, useful uh, unless they don't know how to use a sword or their inventory or their keyboard. Um, so if you luck out like that, then uh, the battle will be easy, but other than all those obvious indicators, uh, you know, you're probably, probably, uh, stick to using Shuriken, uh, not as many times as you use Bow and Arrow with Sunshine Princess. Now, I didn't get to go through all of these, uh, princesses, but if you play the game, you can do that for yourself, and, but I did see... Um, when I was attacked multiple times by different princesses, they did have different powers from the tycoons that I didn't play as, so that's what ultimately what I was able to uh, do a gain information from. So, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked Princess Tycoon and you want me to maybe hopefully be in RB Battles one day, uh, just saying, you know, just... Uh, you know, just putting it out there. Um, but make sure to like and subscribe the video. Like, no, you can't subscribe the video. But you can like it, and you can subscribe to me if you want. So, uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.